talk a little bit about last night, first of all. What did it feel like uh, as you heard this trade go down, as everything? What were, what were you feeling as all, the whole world was going around? Well, I wasn't nervous at all. You know, I did my workouts, you know, I did my part. You know, I knew last night wasn't in my hands, so, you know, I was just relaxed. You know, I was ready for anything to happen. You know, and when I found out the trade was going to happen, you know, I was done. I was excited, you know, playing along with Kevin Durant, you know, it was going to be, you know, a blessing, you know, playing with a guy of that caliber. You know, with that talent, you know, it's going to make things a lot easier on our teammates. So, you know, I'm going to be really excited, you know, going to this upcoming season. Have you ever played on the same team or any uh, all-star team or anything with him? No, I haven't. You know, I've just watched his game, you know, grow over the years. You know, I was, I seen him play when he was younger, you know, on the D.C. Blue Devils, the AU uh, circuit. So, you know, I've seen his game, you know, really grow. You know, I'm really proud of him, you know, the steps he's made, you know, to get to this point. Have you ever been to Seattle before? You know anything about Seattle? I've been to Seattle two years ago. You know, we played Oregon. We spent about two days here. It rained a lot. I know it's a lot of overcast here. You know, I know they have great people here because there's a few people that go to Georgetown who are from Seattle who are wonderful people. You know, who are you know great friends with. So you know, I know it's a great place to be. What do you bring to the Sonics? You know a little bit about the team. What do you bring to this to this party? A lot. You know, I'm, Kind of like Kevin, you know, very versatile. Can play both sides of the floor. You know, willing to help our team out. You know, whatever it takes. You know, I'm the type of player. You know, if the coach wants me to just go in and rebound, you know, that's what I do. You know, I'm the type of player who wants to win. You know, by playing defense. You know, and that's one thing I take pride on. I feel a little um, Patrick Ewing on your shoulders in some way. I mean, the whole Georgetown mystique and Thompson's uh, senior and junior. No, did they, did they, edu did they kind of talk to you a little bit about going into the, into the league? Of course, of course. They were my advisors, you know, going, making my decision, you know, telling me, you know, things I need to, you know, see and things I need to know about, you know, making it to this level. You know, this is a business now. It's not college, so you know they prepared me, you know, for this experience. You know, I think I'm well prepared for it. You know, they've been by my side since day one. You know, I love them to death for the things that they've done to me since I've uh, been in college. You know, they got me to this point, so I would look a lot of credit to this. What would you tell people that stay in school and longer to make you a better player? That time you were able to stay under somebody like a John Thompson. Well, players, you know, players are different. You know, they learn at a different pace. You know, I'm a player. I, I'm a patient guy. You know, I'm not the type to run, rush into things. You know, I knew it was going to take time for my game to develop, and that's why I stayed last year. You know, so you know, I would advise people, you know, just take the time and be patient. You know, the NBA is always going to be there. You know, you got to mature first before you make the big step. So you know, just just be patient with it. You know, take your time. Now, now, what's the nickname? Is it Ter Terminator or Eliminator? What? <laughs> uh, uh, the Predator. The Predator. Okay. Well, now, 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 where did that, that come from? Nickname. That was the old nickname. My freshman year, I had I had long braids, yeah. and I cut them off going into my sophomore year. And the way the Predator hair was, you know, it was very, very uh, wild in the back. And I used to wear my hair like that a lot. And when I run, it would always flap up like the Predator. And I got that nickname one game, and then I cut them. And then my teammates started calling me. You know, the black horse, you know, because the way I run up and down the court, you know, I have a long stride and I'm very fast on my side. So, I, I was, yeah, it's the style. That used to be my last name until my mom got married. So, you know, it, it was a great fit. You know, I like the name, you know. So, you know, I, whatever nickname I get, you know, that's all I get. Can we officially start calling you the stallion? Would that be all right? Yeah, the black stallion. That'd be great. <laughs> We're in, man. Hey, thanks for spending a couple of minutes. Thank you. Welcome to Seattle. Thank you.